Secretary Antonio Ernesto Laddameo Jr., the Special Assistant to the President and members of his party, Secretary Carlito Galvez Jr., the Presidential Advisor on Peace, Reconciliation, and Unity, and other officials from the OPAPRU, Secretary Mark Leandro Mendoza, the Presidential Advisor on Legislative Affairs, Interim Chief Minister Ahud Ibrahim of the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao, along with the different ministers present, and other officials of the BARM and members of the Bangsamoro Parliament. Let me especially recognize Minister Magyar Iqbal, the chair of the MILF Peace Implementing Panel, together with the members of his panel. His Excellency Mehmet Suat Akgon of Turkey, the chair of the independent decommissioning body, and his truly independent and reliable members from Norway, Japan, and Brunei. His Excellency Ambassador Christian Halaas Lister of Norway. Malaysian Embassy Representative Minister Amalusaman Muhammad Arasani. Magindanao del Norte Governor Abdul Raup Makakua and other local officials present. Men and women from the security sector headed by Lieutenant General Roy Galido, the commander of the AFP Western Mindanao Command and the newly appointed commanding general of the Philippine Army, Major General Alex Rillera of the Army 6th Infantry Division, Major General Antonio Nafarete of 1st Infantry Division and Police Brigadier General Alan Noblesa of Police Regional Office, Bangsamoro Autonomous Region. Our sincerest congratulations to General Galido. Sa ating mga kapatid na MILF, members of the media, other guests, good morning, asalam alaikum. After almost two years, today is another important day in our history as we complete the 14,000 combatants and 2,450 weapons under phase three of the decommissioning process of former members of the Moro Islamic Liberation Front. After this week-long activity, we shall have received a total of 26,145 combatants and 6,425 Decommissioning is the first and a major aspect of normalization under the comprehensive agreement in the Bamsamoro peace process. Obviously, today we are glad to receive these brothers and sisters. And we are very much conscious of the added responsibility and challenges as they await to receive various interventions that will afford them peaceful and affordable productive lives. And as I stand here today, I am certain that today's activity is a testament of the strong commitment of the government of the Philippines and the Moro Islamic Liberation Front to work hand in hand until the conclusion of this peace process. The peace process, just like any process, is described as a series of small and big steps towards producing a product or accomplishing our objective. As chair of the Philippine Government Implementing Panel, along with my highly capable colleagues, namely Under Secretary Tan Husay of DSWD, Under Secretary Ampatuan of the Department of Agriculture, Under Secretary Bayan of the DILG, Deputy Director General Bertiz of TESDA, and Presidential Assistant Diciano and Mayor, plus all our partners in the national government, I consider this event as a thank you and appeal session. Having said that, let me first thank the BARM government for its efforts towards our common objective of making progress in the political and normalization tracks of the peace agreement. Let me highlight here the financial support that the Bangsamoro Transition Authority 
has allocated for normalization projects. As we continue to work as partners, I appeal for your continued support. Our thanks and admiration to the MILF panel for being straightforward during our deliberations. Importantly, we should thank the Joint Secretariat and various mechanisms for their relentless efforts, all in the name of peace. Let me thank the different national government agencies and instrumentalities for your full understanding on the national government's commitment in this peace agreement. I appeal for your continued participation in the inter-cabinet cluster mechanism on normalization or the so-called ICCMN, as embodied in President Duterte's Executive Order No. 79 and President Marcos's Executive Order No. 6. Let me also thank our international partners for your help through the years. I also appeal for your understanding on the various challenges on the ground and, above all, your continued support. I should not forget to thank the civil society groups, including the media, for your watchful eyes serving as an added push for us to do more, though your kind words add energy to us. Likewise, I appeal for your constructive criticisms. For according to billionaire Jack Ma, to be successful, we must look at criticisms as opportunities. In a similar fashion, let me thank my co-workers from UPAPRO for the untiring efforts as I appeal for some adjustments in the way we work. For according to Albert Einstein, by doing the same thing over and over again, using the same methods, we should not expect different results. Kung mga pagari ami a MILF, alangun poon sa Lanao del Sur, mabag pada tanu den sa gyang kae alalan si iko kalilintad. Pamang ni kami sa maap sa kasabat, kasabutan tanu ang mabibutad tanu ay manto ay mala niya gangkai ang mga simukat. Sa gangkai agi tanu di kapapad na pamangniin ami ami tatarus so kooperasyon ugup iyo sana kanu sa mi tatarus Susuporta ami, si ko pure a kasalimbago, ago kalilintad sa Bangsamoro. In Tagalog, sa aming mga kapatid mula sa MILF, na pawang na nagmula sa Lanao del Sur, magkakasama na tayong tumatahak sa landas ng kapayapaan. Humihingi rin kami ng inyong pangunawa sa ating mga kinakaharap na hamon. Sa ating pagsasamahan ay hinihiling namin ang inyong patuloy na kooperasyon. Makakaasa kayo ng aming patuloy na suporta tungo sa tunay na pagbabago at kapayapaan sa Bangsamoro. In closing, let me thank you all for your presence as we remind everyone that our job is considered a work in progress. To those who prepared for this event, maraming salamat, sukran. Thank you for the heartfelt message, GPH Panel Chairman Iano. Help me also to welcome the MILF Panel Chairman and Minister Muagir Iqbal to give his message. A round of applause, please. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim uh, My courtesies and respect So, Honorable uh, 
Secretary Antonio Nesto Lagdamio Jr. The Honorable Secretary Calvis, Carlito Galvis Jr. My late Chair and Chief Minister, Brother Ahud Balawag Ibrahim. Ambassador, Chair of the IDB, Akyun. PH Panel Chair, Cesariano. Secretary Leandro Mendoza. Uh, Governor and Brother Abdurrahman Makakwa. Ambassador from Norway. Uh, Lieutenant General Roy Galedo. Congratulations, sir. Other generals who are with us uh, this morning. Other important guests. Ladies and gentlemen, the Islamic salutation, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, and uh, still good morning. This morning, after performing the first prayer of the day with this Fajr, I did not stand right away. Instead, I took time to think deep, recollect our journey to the peace process, the sacrifices we have made, the lives of brothers and sisters that have been lost in pursuit of our right to self-determination, and in order to put an end to injustices committed against our people. Even before, the decision to sit in the negotiating table is very hard. Some comrades strongly oppose it because they don't see the sincerity of the people running the government to remain true to their words. I can still recall some of our brothers in saying we should not pursue this because they will not listen to us. But the majority of the leadership of the MILEP supports the idea of entering into peace negotiation because we already know war is very costly. It will cost us millions livelihoods. It will cost our lives and the future of our children. We cannot afford to let our children live in hunger, poverty and lack of education. And more importantly, quoting the words of the late Chairman Salamat Hashim, Allah Yerkhamu, he said, and I quote, the most practical and civilized way of solving the Bangsamoro question is through a negotiated political system. Those are the reasons why we entered into a peace negotiation with the government of the Republic of the Philippines. And so, here we are now. The government, after decades of peace negotiations, have given us the opportunity to lead the warm government and the MILF to take the captainship to better our people. But we are still in the implementation part of the peace negotiation and a lot of things are needed to be done. To be candid, I am here in front of you with a bleeding heart. This is due to the fact that on June 18, 2023, we have lost seven legitimate members of the MILF at Barangay Madides, Dato Paglas Magindano, Del Sur, and tagging them as members of the Bangsamoro Islamic Freedom Fighters and all the guys of legitimate law enforcement operation. This incident had made us decide to put a hold and sought a temporary deferment to the schedule decommissioning of the remaining 1,301 MILF combatants included in the third phase. 
The deferment is a much needed break to pave the way for healing process, not only for the deceased loved ones, but also for the entire organization of the MILA. The request for a pause was requested to extend to support the grieving families and hasten the healing process. We also want the post to reinforce our commitment to justice and compassion. We want to deal with the rising anger and emotions from the incident. The deferment made us think and carefully balance the interests of our people and our members. If the supposed law enforcement efforts are to be done without accord to the peace mechanism in place, this will leave our members defendless. The so-called law enforcement operations in breach of our peace process protocols worried us. We cannot, we cannot let our people to die in vain. We in the MILA see that there are efforts to get to the truth of what happened and that measures are being put into place to make sure that there will be no repeat of what has happened. It can be recalled that after the incident, the president gave his words that there will be investigation. More than a month had passed, and no investigation by an independent body had ever gone to the area and conduct an investigation. It is at this juncture to reiterate our previous position that international monitoring teams should return and look into this matter to ensure the confidence of our members to the peace process. On this occasion, we must again reiterate the need for a parallel and commensurate implementation of all normalization aspects. The decommissioning is not equal to normalization. It is merely a part of the whole. The resumption of the decommissioning is part of the MILA commitment to the peace process, which we intend to fulfill, and yet the fulfillment must be matched by the government's equal commitment. We are partners for peace. We should strengthen each other instead of weakening each other. We have high respect and trust to His Excellency President Mongo Marcos that he will sincerely ensure that every term of the peace agreement be implemented during his term of office. In conclusion, this resumption of the commissioning marks our continuous effort to complete our journey towards sustainable peace. There will be challenges and it requires us to change, adapt to evolving circumstances to create a vital future for everyone. Let us approach the commissioning with gratitude for the past. I resolve to complete normalization and the determination to continually strive for progress no matter what happens. Thank you and welcome to everyone. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you for your encouraging message, MLF Panel Chairman, Sir Iqbal. To proceed, the GPH and MLF maintains their steadfast commitment with the Bangsamoro peace process, sustaining the gains of peace as we move towards healing and reconciliation. Please join me in giving a warm round of applause to welcome the Presidential Advisor on Peace, Reconciliation and Unity, Secretary Carlito G. Galvez Jr. to deliver his message of commitment. A round of applause. Our courtesies to our guest of honor speaker, which uh, I will be introducing uh, today, Special Assistant to the President, Secretary Antonio Ernesto F. Lagdameo Jr. Farm Interim Chief Minister Ahod uh, B. Ibrahim, my left chairman and Interim Chief Minister of the Office of the Chief Minister. Sir, congratulations for your very successful uh, trip in uh, Malaysia with the President. Presidential Advisor on Legislative Affairs, Secretary Mark Leandro Mendoza, our champion uh, with, uh, with the Pimpasamoro. Members of the Independent Commissioning Body, led by His Excellency, Ambassador Mehmet Suwat Akun. Our friend, His Excellency Ambassador Christian Halas Lister, 
ambassador of Royal Norwegian Embassy. Thank you for coming, sir. Governor of the Raup, A. Makwa, the provincial governor of Magdalena del Norte. Chair Cesar Villano, Chairperson GPH uh, Peace Implementing Panel. Minister Mohager M. Iqbal, Chairperson of Emaila Peace Implementing Panel. Farm Senior Minister, Sir Bon Al Haq. Farm Minister Hussein Munoz, Ministry of uh, Public Orders and Safety. Our distinguished members of the Bangsamoro Parliament present here today, esteemed members of the GPH Implementing Panel, with DSW Yusek Alan Tanusay, DA Yusek Samsamin Ampatuan, and David, David Diciano, members of the third party monitoring team, Mr. Sam Sitik from the Asia Foundation. I would like also my honor to acknowledge Lieutenant, jo Lieutenant General Roy M. Galido, Philippine Army. Who is uh, our former? West, uh, he is uh, our former six ID commander and current uh, West Mekom commander, and now the commanding general of Philippine Army. Let's uh, give them a round of applause. Brigadier <laughs> General Alan C. Noblesa, Regional Director of ProBar. Major General Antonio Naparete, Commander First Infantry Division. Major General Alex S. Riliera, Philippine Army, Commander of the 6th Infantry Division, Armed Forces of the Philippines. He's also one of our pillars here in the Bangsamoro. Other commanders of the different AP Division in Mindanao present and also from uh, the Pobar. Other officials from the Office of the Special Assistant to the President present here today. Our partners from the development sector and uh, diplomatic corps. Our team from OPAP and other uh, uh, teams and other mechanisms. Principles of different GPH and MILA peace process mechanism. Our IDB officials present. Isang mag mapayapang at magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Good morning to all. Mapia, mapita sa ating mga kapatid na magindanawan. In September last year, we stood in this very same ground to jumpstart the phase three of the decommissioning process of the Moro Islamic Liberation Front combatants. And today, we are here once again to complete the third phase of the decommissioning of our brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah. Thanks, God. This is the reason why the implementation of all signed peace agreement is on top of the Marcos administration's five-point peace reconciliation and unity agenda. The national government, through our office and other concerned line agencies, is carrying out initiatives that aim to transform former MILA combatants and their families into peaceful and productive individuals and their areas into progressive and resilient communities. And we are very uh, fortunate that uh, we, we are being led by our guest speaker in the inter-cabinet cluster on normalization. Let's give uh, our speaker a round of applause. In fact, in his speech during the United Nations General Assembly in New York last year, President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. emphasized that the Bangsamoro peace process is the centerpiece of his administration peace agenda. He reaffirmed this unwavering commitment, commitment in his recent State of the Nation address wherein, wherein he expressed his full and strong support to the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao and its leadership and its people, that he said that the BARM is effective, progressive, and self-governing. As we all know, it is establishing and sustaining the conditions where long-lasting peace can firmly take root and flourish. This mission is our collective efforts in moving forward the normalization program and ensuring that it will have a greater impact on the lives of our decommissioned combatants and their families. Thus, we must focus on the acceleration of the implementation of the normalization programs, various aspects, which include security, socioeconomic development, confidence building, and transitional justice and reconciliation. However, the national and the Bangsamoro governments cannot do all of this separately. 
this must be done with a greater synergy between the parties. Everything must be a collective effort. Crucial to realizing this goal are the joint peace mechanisms such as the GPH MILF peace implementing panels and the intergovernmental relations body, which are helping the national and the Bangsamoro governments address challenges in the implementation of the normalization program and the transition and ensure that all its components are delivered in the best way possible. As we have said, uh, there are greater improvements and achievements that we have already accomplished with the IGRB. One of those is the Intergovernmental Energy Board, the, the agreement that uh, the Bangsamoro and the national government can now explore gas and coal in the barn. And we will be having a uh, future uh, sources of energy. We are also renewing our call to all peace partners, local government units, civil society, the academe, the security sector, and the international development community to continue supporting our peace and development intervention here in the Bangsamoro. The Marcos administration is determined more than ever to carry out interventions that are people-centered, LGU and BARM-led, and nationally supported. Ito po yung strategy po natin na gagawin ngayon na we should, you know, we should concentrate our effort to the combatants, their families, and the communities, and it should be a combination of the BARM and the LGU that will lead that transformation. And the national government agencies will support this transformation program. This is the power of synergy and complementation, our ability to work together and support each in the face of challenges to achieve our collective vision. And this is why we have always emphasized the importance of jointness between the national government and also with the Bansamoro together with the LGUs in all our peace building initiatives. It is through this jointness that the national government and the, Nas and the Bansamoro government have been able to fulfill the commitment it had made under the comprehensive agreement on the Bank Samoro, which is the cornerstone of the Bank Samoro peace process. We are happy and proud to see how the MILF has evolved from being a former revolutionary group to becoming the catalyst of sustainable development and genuine change and peace. And with the MILF holding the reins of the governance in the BARM under the able leadership of our Chief Minister, Ibrahim Ebra Murad, the region is now realizing its potential as a leading trade, investment, and tourism hub in Mindanao. In fact, the BARM is now the leading uh, fish and aquatic resources uh, uh, sources, considering that 36% uh, of the Philippine fisheries are coming from the BARM area. And also, with the help of uh, our Malaysian government and also other countries, OIC countries, we will be leading maybe in the future a multi-billion pesos of having the halal industry and also the Islamic banking through the initiative of our president and also with the chief minister. Through this decommissioning process, we are looking forward to seeing these former combatants walk the same path taken by their leaders and that is the path of peace. Yung sinasabi nga ni Minister Iqbal, uh, my friend, na talagang yung decision to have peace, peace talagang uh, initially napakahirap talaga. But uh, yun nga, ang, um, if we, our decision is to have peace, as uh, William Shakespeare have said, that it will be a win-win for all of us. Both parties have been subdued, but all parties also win by having peace. But we must keep in mind that the commissioning is only the first step and we are keeping this in mind that uh, this is not all the normalization. So we must ensure that those who have undergone the process will be able to continue and sustain their journey of transformation. That is uh, giving them the lives that it's decent and with dignity. By the end of the third phase of the decommissioning, 26,145 MILF combatants and 4,625 of their weapons would have been decommissioned. 
This means that 26,000 individuals would have made the successful transition to mainstream society. And we need to collectively help this, make it happen. I would like also to thank our security forces, the Armed Forces of the Philippines, the PNP, and also all our partners for making this achievement. To the members of the international decommissioning body, headed by Ambassador Suat Agkun, thank you for your outstanding work. What you are doing is truly remarkable, considering that many concerns you had to address in this highly complex decommissioning process. We are looking forward to continue working with you. Please, a round of applause for our DB for their great work that we we'll, that have accomplished and we will accomplish. To the MILF, led by the Chief Minister Ibrahim, we extend our deepest gratitude to all of you for having faith and confidence in the national government as we work together to create a better and brighter future for MILF members, their families, and their communities. Mr. Chief Minister, we are very happy that we have an unflinching president. At saka na nga po si Secretary Lagdameo, na who started yung kanyang grandfather, he started also the peace process in triple agreement with the First Lady. So masaya po tayo. Meron na po po tayo mga maraming kasama. Nahandyan na po si SAP, nahandyan na si Presidente, nahandyan pa si Secretary DBM Amina. So meaning meron na po tayong, meron na po tayong asahan na resources. And I'm very happy na this year and next year, baka may resources po tayong maasahan for normalization. And we thank the Secretary of DBM and also the Secretary of uh, uh, DPWH and also especially Congressman Salceda to really helping us to have that, uh, that uh, net. Na at least merong additional na 5 billion for pamana. Sa ating mga MILF combatants na ididecommission ngayong araw na ito at mga susunod na linggo at saka yung mga nadecommission na nakaraang, uh, nakaraang taon at nakaraang uh, panahon, gamitin po ninyo ang pagkakataoing ito upang maitaas ang antas ng inyong pamumuhay at inyong mga pamilya. Abot kamay na po ninyo ang dividendo ng kapayapaan at kaunlaran at ang aming pangako, we will not leave you behind. Lahat po kayo ay aakayin po natin sa lahat ng gobyerno, ating Chief Minister, papasalamat po kami kay Chief Minister dahil kami po ay nag-agree na we will do it together, the normalization, with the help of also the LGU, our President and our Special Assistant and also the National Government Agencies. Rest assured that the Marcos administration stands behind all of you as we continue to push forward, build on, and sustain the gains of the peace of the Bangsamoro. Mabuhay po tayo lahat and sukran. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, Secretary Galvez. We will also hear a message of commitment from the Moro Islamic Liberation Front to be given by no other than the Interim Chief Minister of the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region of Muslim Mindanao, the MLF Chairman, Ahud Balawag Ibrahim Al-Hajj. A round of applause. To the Chair of the Independent Decommissioning Body, Ambassador Swat Agkon, His Excellency, Christian Halas Lister, Ambassador of the Kingdom of Norway, Special Assistant to the President, Secretary Antonio Ernesto Lagdameo Jr., our very good friend and helper in the bar. Secretary of the Presidential Advisor on Peace, Reconciliation, and Unity, Secretary Carleto Galvis Jr., also our very good friend. To the new Commanding General of the Philippine Army, Lieutenant General uh, Roy Galledo, uh, also a very good friend and a very good partner in the uh, peace and order situation. Thank you. Uh, to the members of the 
uniform officials who are here today. Thank you very much for coming. Chair of the MILF Peace Implementing Panel, Minister Mahajir Iqbal. Chair of the GPH Peace Implementing Panel, Cesar Riano. Cesar Riano. Presidential Assistant. Uh, Presidential Assistant David Diaciano of the OPA Pro Office for the Bank Samoro Transformation. Uh, Under Secretary of the Department of Agriculture, uh, Zamzamin Ampatuan, who is here also with us. Thank you. Uh, Under Secretary Alan Tanjusai of the Social Welfare and Development Department. Thank you. Members of the third party monitoring team, national, regional, and local government officials, peace process, friends for development, my fellow Bangsamoro, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am honored to join you all today at the opening ceremony for the completion of the Phase 3 MILF decommissioning. The gathering today demonstrates the steadfast commitment of the more Islamic Liberation Front in our pursuit for sustainable peace and progress in the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. The, the MILF recognizes that the decommissioning process is a significant component of the normalization track under the Comprehensive Agreement on the Bank Samoro. We understand the importance of this step towards our goal of achieving lasting peace in the Southern Philippines. After all, the MILF only aspires for equal opportunities and access for growth and development for the Bangsamoro people and its homeland and nothing more. Today, as we witness the decommissioning of the remaining 1,301 MILF combatants in this third phase, I'm hopeful and I look forward to a successful decommissioning of the remaining MILF combatants in the fourth phase as part of the agreement. We are also anticipating the fulfillment of other equally important components of normalization, such as the transformation of MILF camps into productive communities, socio-economic programs, and the disbandment of private armed groups, amnesty, and transitional justice, among others. These are all components of the normalization process. They are all equally important in achieving uh, sustainable peace in the Bangsamoro area. For some, the process of decommissioning might be slow. But may I remind you all, that this process takes some time because we are not only transforming the individual lives of combatants and making them productive members of our society, even so importantly, transforming all communities across the barn to become a peaceful and progressive community. I urge our partners on the other side of the table that as we expedite the decommissioning process, let us also expedite all other components of normalization. On our side, the IMILF and the Bank Samoro people are ready to cooperate 
and work together in order to attain and accomplish the real peace in the Bangsamoro homeland. I remember during our oath taking in Malacanang, we had a we were seated together with the president, and uh, he was we were uh, uh, conversing. And uh, I told him that uh, the peace process started actually during his father's uh, administration. In fact, I told him that the first peace agreement was the Tripoli Peace Agreement of 1976. And it was during the term of his father. His response to me is, he said, I will make sure that the process started by my father will be completed under my term. So that was our uh, conversation during the uh, uh, during our taking oath in the BTA, the second BTA. So to the Bangsamoro people, especially the Bangsamoro Islamic Armed Forces, I want to thank you all for your continued support to our cause. I know that many of you are uh, still having south, uh, some doubt in their minds, but I should point out that this political settlement we have achieved today and the relative peace we enjoy now is the fruit of our decades of struggle. But this does not end here. Rather, this is a continuation of our quest for the liberation of our people from all kinds of injustices and improving the lives of every Bangsamoro. Therefore, please join me and join everyone. We work together. Let us all become champions of peace and progress in our beloved homeland, inshallah. The road to peace and justice in the Bangsamoro requires a ton of patience, understanding, and cooperation that transcends our cultural affiliation and political clamor. This occasion signals the success of the peace process in the southern Philippines. That is why I would like to extend my thanks and appreciation to our partners, to the government of the Philippines, to the Office of the Presidential Advisor on Peace, Reconciliation and Unity, the Independent Decommissioning Body, and to all our other partners in this noble process. And uh, thank you very much for helping us achieve what we have achieved now. As we continue to write our narrative of peace and shared love for our homeland, let us continue to join hands in ensuring that the provisions of the agreement between the GPH and MILF come into fruition. Let us exert all our effort to sustain the dividends of the peace process, uphold our long-held dreams and aspiration as stipulated in the agreed annexes towards normalization and finally work towards a better, brighter, and more prosperous Bangsamoro, inshallah. Sukran wa billahi taufiq wal hidayah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you for your message, Honorable Chief Minister. Ladies and gentlemen, at this juncture, we shall now be receiving a very important guest here on stage. May we call once again Secretary Galvez to welcome and introduce our guest of honor. Our guest of honor for today is currently the Special Assistant to the President, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. Prior to his entry in the government, 
he was a successful businessman. Secretary Lagdameo acquired his bachelor's degree in the business administration from the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania in 1989. Continuing on its business economics in the University of the Asia and the Pacific. Working as a credit analyst for Manufacturers Hanover Trust in Manhattan, New York from 1989 to 1992. Our guest speaker later joined the ranks of National Westminster Bank in New York. He then became the director of the Cambric Trading Limited in London from 1993 to 1996. Upon returning to the Philippines, he served as the Vice President of the Anflo Management and Investment Corporation in Davao City from 1996 to 2007. From 2007 onwards, he served for three consecutive terms as the representative of the second district of Davao del Norte. He also carried out his duties as member of the Commission on Appointment during his team as congressman. And uh, for all, we know that he is also served as one of the co-author of the Bansamoro Organic Law. Siya po ang isa sa nagpupus na ito po ay maipasa kasama po ang ating mahal na presidente. So ito po yung mga hindi po natin alam. Siya po talaga isa sa mga kasama po noon. Palakpakan po natin ang ating secretary. In 2016, Secretary Ligdameo returned to the private sector once again, finding himself in government service, service with the current administration in 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, our people from the Bangsamoro, it is my distinct pride and honor to introduce to you the special assistant to the President, Honorable Secretary Antonio Ernesto Florendo Lagdameo, Jr. Uh, uh, please, thank you, Secretary Galvez, for your very uh, wonderful introduction. Um, my courtesy to Secretary Galvez, uh, Presidential Vice, um, Presidential Assistant, I uh, advisor peace process. Uh, we have Secretary Mark Mendoza. Uh, Presidential advi Advisor on Legislative Affairs, uh, members of the independent decommissioning body led by His Excellency Ambassador Mehmet Swat Akun, um, His Excellency Ambassador Christian Alasdister, Ambassador of the Royal Norwegian Embassy, our Bar Minister, Chief Minister Awad Ibrahim, uh, MILF Chairman, Interim Chief Minister, uh, Office of the Chief Minister. Um, governor Abdulrov E. Makakwa, the newest Governor of the Republic of the Philippines, uh, Provincial Government of Maguindanao del Norte, uh, Chairperson of the GPH Peace Implementing Panel, Cesar Villano, our chairperson for the MILF Peace Implementing Panel, also Minister Wager Iqbal, uh, Barm Senior Minister Bon Al other members of uh, the Bar Ministry, members of the Bank Zamoro Parliament, um, members of the third party monitoring team. Uh, sorry, I won't mention all the names anymore. I think uh, they've been mentioned enough this morning. Of course, uh, Lieutenant General Roy Galido, uh, congratulations again, boss. Um, Major General, uh, Police Brigadier General Alan C. Noblesa, Major General Antonio D. Naparete, First Infantry Division. Uh, yeah, Battalion Division. Major, Major General Alex S. Riviera. Other commanders of the different AFP divisions in Mindanao present here. The other officials 
of the obvious of the uh, peace process. Our partners from the development sector and the, the diplomatic corps, principals of the different uh, GPH MILF peace process mechanisms, members of uh, office of the special assistant to the president. Good uh, well. Good afternoon to everyone. Today we celebrate another key milestone for peace, the resumption of phase three of the decommissioning process. We in the national government recognize the MILF's commitment in fulfilling the comprehensive agreement on the Bank Zamoro as our partners in ensuring that our countrymen in the Bank Zamoro region have their share of justice, genuine peace and development. The decommissioning process is but one of the various components of the normalization program. However, it is a vital step that signals the official transition of former combatants into mainstream society as productive and peaceful citizens. The completion of the third phase signifies the strong partnership of the government and MILF to pursue a singular mission of transforming the Bank Samoro from conflict reflective of the President's vision to build a Bank Zamora that is self-governing, progressive, and effective. The national government maintains its dedicated support and commitment as, as well to the other aspects of the normalization program such as socio-economic development, security, transitional justice and reconciliation, and confidence-building measures including amnesty. As mentioned in the last ICCMN meeting, the socio-economic aspect of the normalization program aimed at providing combatants with a sustainable means of reintegration will remain a top priority. That said, the next ICCMN will reconvene on August, uh, August 10 to follow through on the commitments of our partner agencies. Indeed, the task of implementing our deliverables is not an easy feat. But through our continued and unified efforts, we will be able to translate them into actual peace dividends that improve the quality of the Bank Samoro people. I also take this opportunity to thank the support of our international partners through the independent decommissioning body and other shepherds of peace, whose contributions have been instrumental in the meaningful transformation of MILF competence and building sustainable peace in the Bank Samoro. As we conclude this phase of the program, I urge especially our partners, the local government and other stakeholders that we continue working together towards lasting unity and build on the confidence and goodwill between us. So thank you to everyone and good afternoon. Thank you so much, Secretary Lecameo, for your message. We have reached the end of this short but remarkable program. Let this be the beginning of our individual and collective journeys.